We are back at it with another gear review, and today we're talking about John G. John G not only makes freaking awesome gear, they also donate 2% of each sale to nonprofit organizations working on getting clean water for the people of the world. Now, for me personally, sometimes I take that for granted. I just assume everyone in, in the world has clean water. I walk to my kitchen, who get some water from a sink, and I'm good to go. That's not the world we live in. And I love that John G has made it their mission to take that money from their sales and help the people of the world to get better water. I think up to date, they have donated about $600,000, which is freaking awesome. It's definitely one of those things you love backing a company that's not only making awesome gear functional, makes you perform well, but also gives back to the world. Now, John G did send me three pieces that I'm going to be talking about today. These are gear that I've been using for the winter. It's cold up in Pennsylvania, so I definitely been putting this through the ringer. Now, before we jump in today's review, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. You know you want to. It helps the channel and it costs you absolutely nothing. Now sit back, relax, and let's hear more about some of this rad gear from John G. The first item I'm going to talk about is the Repeat Merino Tech Long Sleeve. This long sleeve has been fantastic this winter. When it's in the 30s and up, I rock this by itself with some shorts and I am good to go. It definitely works fantastic. I love Merino wool. It works really well. It helps you breathe. So if you are feeling hot, it definitely releases that from your body and keeps you feeling comfortable and it handles sweat extremely well. When it got into the 20s or even you know the teens or in single digits, I wore this as a base layer and I felt fantastic. I love when a shirt can be multi-dimensional. I can wear it when it gets a little bit warmer, still feel really comfortable, and when the temperatures get freezing like they do in Pennsylvania, I wear this as a base layer and it performs extremely well. Merino wool is just one of my favorite materials that is out there in the running world and John G definitely knocked it out of the park with this one the one other thing I like about this one is it has a little bit of a turtleneck which is kind of nice especially in the colder temps I don't want a full turtleneck but sometimes being having it closed off here is really nice I have my windbreaker on I have this underneath and no wind is getting under there hitting my chest really hitting my neck it's a it's a little feature that they added that's really nice and the last thing I love about it I think more shirts and jackets definitely should have it. Little holder. I love a merino wool because you can wear it multiple runs because uh, it doesn't hold on to your stink and your sweat. Hang this bad boy up and in the next run I wear it, I can just take it off. It's no longer sweaty and I'm good to go. Or if I am extremely sweaty and I don't want to put it in the hamper, I hang this up in the bathroom, let it completely dry off and then I could throw it in the laundry. Um, besides the materials that they were using it, it just fits my body really well. I went with a medium, which I typically go with most brands, and I definitely felt like a medium fit me extremely well. Um, this definitely is a piece that I'm constantly wearing in the wintertime, and we'll probably wear fall, winter, and spring, to be quite frank. The next item up from Janji is the groundwork tights. These are their long tights uh, for the men, and I've been wearing these a ton in the cold temps. You're gonna hear this a lot. Winter gear, John G just gets, they are up north. They're from the New England area, so they get it. When it's cold out, you definitely want materials that are not baggy, that fit your body extremely well, but keep you warm. Uh, these shorts, or these tights actually, performed extremely well. I really like the pockets in the back. Um, there is no zipper, so you definitely have to squeeze your phone in here, but it fits really well, and it fits really nicely on the lower back. I was able to get it in and out, in and out, take pictures, you name it, um, and it holds it on really secure. The other thing I really liked about these tights because I do go out on the trails a lot and I want to be able to carry gels and I don't always uh, want to wear a vest. They have little pockets right here on the side and I don't see this a lot with a lot of tights. Usually it's one pocket and you're done. Um, this pocket right here, I was able to throw some salt tabs in there and then over here, I was able to throw in some gels and I was good to go. They do have the typical uh, pockets right here on the legs, which are really nice. You can put a phone there. Personally, I just don't love putting my phone on my leg pocket. I know a lot of people do, but I was able to use those again for gels. I uh, actually was able to put in my GoPro and it, it just handled it extremely well. These tights, I went with a small and I'm really happy I did because they fit extremely well. 
with a minor issue. The drawstring, man. This is too short. I couldn't get a full tie on it, man. I feel like I was like, I got the, the heights on perfectly fine. No issues at all. And I was tying it. I was like, this is, it's too short. So that was my only, really my only minor issue with the shorts. I was finally able to get a tie in. Uh, but it's one of those things you don't think about. But when you are running and you want your, you're carrying a lot on your waist, you definitely want to tie these and secure them. I know some people have no issues, but with me, I guess I don't have a big enough butt because you know, they definitely start falling down and I don't want to be mooning people while I'm out there on the run. Uh, the other cool feature that I really liked about this, and I think I might have bragged to my wife I'll maybe a little too much about it, is one of the things for guys is when you are running, it's nice to have extra materials in the front and in the back. It just helps with the wind and just like really just makes you feel more secure. And they did that. They added like it feels like an extra layer right there. So when you are running in the frigid cold, you're good to go. Again, I was in the single digits with this, these pants and no issues at all. Um, honestly, all three of these pieces that John just sent me are fantastic, but these are one of those pieces that I'm recommending to everybody. The last but not least item is the Revo Rover hoodie. Ooh, it is a mouthful, but this hoodie is freaking awesome. Uh, I kind of feel like a ninja when I'm wearing it. Ah, ah, ah. And put the hood on, it sits secure. And this right here, the neck goes up and a little bit over on my chin. You can bring it up higher if you choose. I don't typically, I a lot of times have a beard, so I really don't need that face coverage. But the hoodie itself is just really nice. The materials are super soft and they are very functional. So I've been wearing this in the teens and the 20s and the 30s, obviously, by itself. And I feel fantastic. I've thrown some tights and I throw on this and I am good to go in those cold mornings or, you know, any type of run that I'm doing in the long run. I've been wearing this a lot out on the trails, on the roads, you name it. This thing has been on me. I really like the fit of this. I went with the medium and I definitely recommend going true to size because if you do want to wear something underneath of it, fit really comfortably. If you want to wear a jacket over top of this, again, it fits really comfortably. Overall, I really just like the fit of it. Um, the one nice thing about this as well is it does have the little thumb holes, so it keeps the shirt down, uh, which is really nice. I hate when my sleeves are rolling up and everything like that. It just also allows you to feel comfortable in one with the hoodie. Not only have I been wearing this a lot when I am running, I've also been wearing a lot when I'm working or when I'm just hanging out with the family. I just like the materials. It's another hoodie out in the running scene, but it definitely separates itself from a lot of the other hoodies that running companies are delivering. Uh, similar to the T, I love it. It has the hanging right here. I know that sounds simple, but not everybody does this. And a lot of jackets don't, and you're hanging it by the hoodie, and then you get little weird spots in the hoodie. This is simple, this little hook, but it is it just helps, especially when you are a sweaty person like I am. I can hang this up in the bathroom and it's good to go. Um, and then you let it dry out and you can wear it multiple times. I've definitely worn this on multiple runs back to back. And I don't find that this material they're using is holding on the sweat, which is really nice. This is definitely a hoodie. If you are looking for something to wear out on those cold months, definitely pick the, the Ro Revo Rover hoodie up and you will not be disappointed. Well, there you have it. Those are the three pieces uh, that I reviewed from Janji. Again, all of them are meant for those colder months. So if you're living in an area that has some cold temps, definitely check out Janji. They're up north and they get it. They understand the, the piles of snow that we're getting. They understand about comfort, but also wanting to be warm. Um, honestly, all three pieces uh, knocked it out of the park. My expectations were, yeah, I'm excited to try them. But once I got them and I started wearing them, I was like, holy crap, this thing is freaking awesome. That Revo Rover hoodie, again, is probably the piece that I'm constantly grabbing the most. I really just enjoy it. It's keeping me nice and toasty this whole winter, but all three items, definitely go check out and definitely go check out John G. Uh, they have some rad gear and I know their newest spring line is just dropping. And if you like tie dye, you are in for a treat. Thanks for checking out this latest video and until next time. See you out on the run.